Hey everybody, Scott Willoughby coming at you again live from PlayFab. Here today to talk about a really fundamental concept in the game industry right now and something that we here at PlayFab are deeply involved in and I'm sure you're deeply involved in too. That is the question of what is a live game? We talk about a lot about live games and live game operations, but sometimes that's not really clearly defined. So we just want to take a quick minute to define what is a live game and what are live game operations. I'm actually going to start by defining what a static game is. So this is what a static game might look like. And this is kind of the old, put a game on a disc, sell it at GameStop, players buy it, they take it home, they play it, you know, nothing special happens. This is changing the game against time, right? And a static game, you buy it, you get the release content, it comes out, you take it home, you open it, you put it in your PlayStation or your Xbox, and it's flat. Like, the content that's in the game and the design of the game is what's on the disc, right? There might be some on-disc DLC you can unlock and purchase at some point. That's already there. It's not served live. It's not dynamic. It's nothing that happens after the fact. It's just a purchase you can make after you've played the game for a while, perhaps. It's already on there, though. And so, fundamentally, it's actually there from day one, right? So you can buy that at some point and you get a little bump up to the level of content that was actually shipped with the product you bought. That's a static game, it's flat, it doesn't change over time. A live game, by contrast, is going to come out on release day, right? And it might have less content initially than, than a static game would, especially a small studio. You're putting out content, remember we've talked about before, you want to try and have at least 60 to 90 days of consumable content for your average user. So you might come out with a little less content, but then you're going to start doing content updates, right? And over time, this is going to grow, and it has no real endpoint potentially. You're going to keep updating the game over its life cycle to continue adding new content, new features, new items, etc., etc., to keep your players engaged over time and really build that relationship. So a live game is really defined as a game that has an ongoing post-launch update pattern for content, design, economy, and player interaction. That's the fundamental difference. Is that the game is operated as a business after it goes live. That is not the end point, that's the starting point. So then if that's a live game, what is the practice of live game operations? Or, as I'd like us all to get familiar with saying, because every other digital marketing business has its own acronym, L-G-O, right? Everybody work with me to make that happen. Live game operations, right? So live game operations is simply the process and the practice of managing, maintaining, and running the business operations of a game post-launch, right? So after a game goes live, this is your ongoing acquisition effort, your content updates, your pricing changes, your content changes, design changes, server maintenance, customer service, segmenting, anal analysis, analytics, business intelligence. It's all the things you do to run this as a business after it goes live because you're continually adjusting, changing, tweaking, and tuning the game to make it more successful, more attractive to players, monetize better, and, and create better business for you and your company, right? So that's the practice of live game operations. Just like with, with any other business, business operations are the practice of maintaining and growing that business to make it successful. LGO is the same thing for live games. So now that we have a common definition of that, we can all move forward being happy and healthy and making our games kick ass. So I'll talk to you more about other things you can do to accomplish exactly that goal next time. Thanks.